Hello, welcome to Basics with the Petersons. I'm Tim and this is Trish and today we actually get to take you what has taken almost a year and a half to create here at our place. We're going to share with you the rainwater system. Okay, yeah, in this video, I mean, you're probably thinking, these people are in Oregon, why in the world do they need to collect rainwater and have a water system? But today we're gonna tell you a little bit about um, the inception of this water system and why Tim kind of thought about it. And we're gonna talk about the early moments. Um, <laughs> the early moments when it was all about we, we were looking at practicality <laughs> yes versus compared to, aesthetics yes. and i'm all about aesthetics and i'm very practical yes so so we're going to take you through that yeah do together. major <laughs> clashing okay major major issue there so we're going to talk to you about that and then we're going to show you how it has changed and what tim has put in he's going to give you some great ideas and we're going to show you all that we have in our water system right now which we have quite a bit and we've put quite a bit of time and effort into getting it ready yeah and, and really we're going to share with you kind of the numbers behind the system the square right. footage that i'm collecting rainwater from also the the volume uh, that we have to the collect amount of into water. the amount of water mm -hmm. we we end up will end up using during the summer and then some dollar figures that, that kind of correlate with that and then i'm sure he'll share with you guys before me the vision of what's next because i always get told later on that oh we need to just add this and it'll be inexpensive and fast trish that, that anyway four, but... that four <laughs> four letter word is very important need need use yes, it yes, use yes. it he okay? always uses that anyway so today join us as we walk you through our water system and we show you what we're doing with it and hopefully where we're going with it. Um, when we moved in here, we have two households to take care of and to use all the water that we have. We have a well that we've drilled, but one thing that I noticed when we first moved in is that um, the amount of water that comes off our roof is extreme. Um, remember when we first moved in, you can see we have a carport here. Um, you can see up here, I've already created a uh, downspout to, to route the water out, um, other places, but originally, the water came down into a bucket that sat on the ground here and a chain came down through the downspout in order to guide that water. Um, and the water would literally overflow everywhere and just gush out. So I, I thought right off, um, because of the dry season that we have around here, uh, to save our pump and save our well, that I could collect that water, utilize that in our gardens and with all of our, our um, vegetation around here and save the amount of water that would that would come out of the pump um, because we were using it for, for personal um, uses. Because of the amount of rainwater that we have, I ended up buying an IBC tote and ended up putting it underneath this downspout to collect as much water as I could. Um, we found real quickly that one rainfall overflowed that uh, IBC tote, the 270 gallon IBC tote, and that I needed a bigger capacity in order to collect as much water as we needed. On top of that, my wife decided that she did not want that black IBC tote put in the middle of her carport where everybody can see and pass through to go into our front door. So I need to, needed to adjust in order to um, make things more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so I ended up uh, moving the, the, uh, this, all the totes that I ended up gathering water into a different site. Um, and that created a need to reroute the water system coming off of the Okay, the first thing I want to show you today is basically the square footage that I collect water from and also um, what the surface area looks like. One of the issues that I have, and it's a continual thing that I fight over and over and over, is um, keeping the water clean before it gets to the tanks. Um, and I'm going to show you I have not cleaned um, any of the surface areas for the last about four or five months. So what you're going to get to see is, is the really the true story behind um, what I have to deal with here. Um, I have a carport, um, and I'm going to go over measurements here in a little bit, and then also um, half of the major roof um, all feeding into this one system that, that comes down and, and goes into the tanks. Um, so kind of, I'm going to take you and walk you up and, and show you exactly what it looks like on top of the, the uh, carport um, for the drainage system, how I have a filtration system kind of put into place so that that we get as minimal amount of the pine needles, dirt, and all that stuff into the system prior to it, the rain ever getting into the downspout. So this, this is the top of our carport, um, which you can kind of see 
and we have the side roof. Uh, this is the one side of the main um, gable roof. But most importantly, I want you to really kind of take a look at what I've got set up here as far as a filtration system uh, to keep out all the pine needles, all the dirt, and that type of stuff that, that, um, are, that go into the water system. First of all, um, what these, these uh, uh, triangle, I'm not sure what they're exactly called, but they're actually made for a gutter system. Um, what happened what happened before is I had really not much of this system um, but what happened was these were this was getting filled up way too quickly with pine needles and then I'd end up having all this water overflow over the edge so I ended up uh, make changing my plans not using this anymore I keep it up here just uh, for purposes if I do need it in future but came up with this this system of these um, these uh, rain gutter covers. And what they are, they're, I, get, I got them at Home Depot and I basically set up as a tiered system. So that there's an initial um, outside that collects most of it. Then it goes through a couple different filtration systems before it actually gets to the downspout over here. And as you can tell, it's fairly clean in this area. I will tell you also that I do end up getting some pine noodles down through that spout uh, in one way or the other, whether the wind blows and, and puts some pine needles in the middle or not. But um, this is how I have the system set up and it seems to be doing fairly well. And I've this is probably the third um, adjustment that I, it's taken to get to this level, but I have somewhat fairly clean water coming out. I do need to clean up, up here on top of this whole system um, about twice a year. Usually during the summer, I uh, come up here and I sweep and I take a leaf blower, blow all this off and uh, pull down as many of the needles and that type of stuff as I can. Right now we're at the end of the rainy season, so that's why this, this surface area is fairly clean. Um, but I try and do as best I can to keep this area totally clean. Now, this surface area, just this carport by itself, um, it the, the measurements on it, it's a 54 feet from this end to that end. And then the side here is 36 feet. So the total square footage of this um, carport area is 1,944 square feet. So um, if you think about the amount of water that's accumulated, if one inch of rain were to fall on a thousand square feet, I'd end up with 623 gallons. This surface area just here, not counting the side of the roof, is about 1,944 square feet. And with that amount of surface area, one, just one inch of rain uh, causes 1,211 gallons of water to be accumulated. So as you can tell, um, for example, the rainfall over tomorrow and the next day is set up tomorrow, supposed to be a half an inch. And then on um, the next day after that, we're talking three quarters of an inch. Literally in a weekend, I can fill um, quite a bit of the totes that I have um, in storage. But that's, that's the surface area. And what you're looking at is unclean, guys. I usually end up going and, and totally removing all this stuff, blowing it off, sweeping it, and making sure that, that it is as clean as possible. Um, but we're towards the, the end of the rainy season, and I won't get up here again until it dries out. So underneath that uh, drainage port uh, that I showed you up on top of the carport, I ended up putting in uh, a, really a two inch PVC uh, piping all the way across the edge. And again, I had to reroute the, my initial plan to um, house all the water and the rainwater um, and had to come up with a system uh, to end up uh, getting it to where I needed to go, which is over the edge. And I'll show you that in a second. But I wanna, what, what I wanted to talk about now is really the, the other next filtration system that I have to keep pine needles and all that stuff out. And that's what I use here. Let me let me get and give you a little bit closer look. So here's kind of an up close uh, picture of what um, I next have as far as the filtration system goes. This unit I got off Amazon. Um, I will show a, what where I got it, a link to it right here. Um, but what it, it basically entails is uh, the water comes down through this two inch um, pipe. And then if you look underneath here, it has two different stages. Anything that big comes through gets shielded off with this. And then it has a screen and a stainless steel screen on the bottom that almost cups at the very bottom to hold in and then push out anything that, that is excessive. Um, 
the, um, the system really helps with taking the extra stuff that gets through the top. You can kind of see pine needles here. I have not cleaned this out in about five weeks. Um, I try and clean it out about once a month, um, especially when rain comes down. Um, but it does a very good job of filtering out all the larger items. It does let some dirt and soil through um, so that I do end up having some, some issues with that. Um, but, but I also have implemented, uh, really this is the homemade um, first flush system that you see here. Uh, this first flush system basically has uh, a, this is a three inch um, pipe here, uh, PVC pipe. You can see how I've got the adapter on there, a rubber amount. And the water comes down, first fills this up, and I have down at the bottom a, a, um, a, a I haven't drained this either. Um, so you'll get to see what comes out. But basically I have, uh, yeah, that's about all that comes out. But there is a, see if I can get it to come out. There is a water bottle that is totally uh, empty in there. One that's, I think it's a uh, 16 ounce that I have pushed in there and it basically is, it floats. So as the first flush system comes down, fills up this container, that, that um, bottle rises and eventually it fits really well in that um, rubber um, conversion and seals off the amount of water that goes down. And then it goes over and pushes the next set of water down the tube and um, down into the, the system. So that's kind of how I've got the setup. So I have really at this point in time, three areas of filtration. Uh, one, the top of the, the carport is where I just showed you. We've got um, the item that basically shields out any extra um, pine needles and that type of thing. And then also this first flush. So at this point in time, we've got three, and I've got one more level of, of um, filtration system down at the tanks themselves. So basically, when I was developing this system, what I, what I determined to do really early on was to try and make it aesthetically valuable for my wife as possible. So hiding a bunch of this stuff as much as I can is, is what I tried to do. Eventually, these, these uh, PVC pipes, we will paint. They will be the same color as the house and therefore hopefully camouflage them a little bit better. This was not what she um, bargained for. It, this is much more of a eyesore to her than uh, what she would originally like. It was better than the big tote sitting up front, but she really is not happy with how it's set up here. So I'm gonna get it painted. Hopefully it'll hide a little bit better. But you can, um, as one of the things I wanted to do is, is hide the piping as much as possible. So today what I've done is kind of showing you the beginning of the whole um, rain water collection system. Kind of discussed a little bit about reason behind. We've got some square footage as far as uh, the collection system goes, how much rain comes in. Um, we've got a couple more parts to this video to kind of give you the whole picture of what the whole um, rainwater collection system entails. Um, so if you enjoyed this, please click like, um, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, join me in the next uh, couple of videos as we kind of explore the rest of the water, uh, rainwater collection system. Thank you.